Hey, what's going on, guys? Exceptional Cigar 229 here. Um, just had a um, pretty good mail call. Also got a gift. Um, always happy and surprised by gifts. So, just say, you know, it's no secret I'm from Georgia. So, Georgia Bulldogs um, have to score the Georgia Alabama game. So, do appreciate it. Whoever sent it. Weird, no return address. I probably should have swapped it for poison, but hey, it's fine. Um, coffee has cleaned it. Um, yeah, let's get right into it. So, in front of me here, I have four online retailers. So, we'll go into Neptune Cigar first. Um, so, that is the packaging. Um, before I get started, I did order from like some smaller shops. Try them out, see how the shipping gives, customer service, how's the packaging. Um, and so I'll start going over those um, as soon as they start coming in. But uh, this is a regular store I order from. Typically, I Google Neptune Cigars, um, Cigar Dojo, and there is a a web page that'll pop up with a wheel. And if you spin it, you get a discount, and then it goes back to whatever page you're on. So, um, Neptune Cigar, Cigar Dojo. I don't know if they get money from it or not. It doesn't matter. It's a discount. Use it. it saves you a little bit of money, right? Um, if any of these guys online, you know they're posting codes or or anything, it's not like a bad thing to use them. Like it kicks money back to them, but it saves you a little bit of money also. It's a win-win for everybody, right? Um, typically with those affiliates, um, as they are called, um, just keep in mind that, you know, they may operate a website that gives you some kind of benefit or they may also start to get bigger discounts available to them if they start to get people to use them. So again, I'm not affiliated with Cigar Dojo. As you know, I do have my own discount codes for certain places. I'm telling you, use theirs. Spinning wheel function is an amazing function. And I wish more websites had it. So I spin it. Typically, I get 12%. Sometimes I get 15%. Sometimes I get 17%. Hey, it's better than 0%. So that's the packaging. I like your bags. So let's open it up here for the first time. Comes with their humidity pack. Um, and it has like little pit holes in it so that, you know, the pack itself can be humid. I do like this because um, this is moist sometimes. I know y'all hate that word, moist, in a way I said it. So, so yeah, that's their pack. Let's see what we got. Five pack of the Oliva Nub, Oliva Nub, um, not Olivia <laughs> Nub. So, first time I had these, um, oof. If you smoke the Milano before, you know, they're generally smooth, right? Um, you do get like some pepper notes and whatnot, but um, this hits you right away when you smoke it, okay? I'm gonna assume because it's the nub format, so it bypasses the whole first, third, second, third, 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 right? It goes right into it. Um, so you're gonna get spice and pepper right off the bat. But it's, I like it. It's not harsh at all. Um, I've enjoyed smoking these since they came out. Um, I just actually got through smoking one of these. Um, this is the Tatawahe Cohitis, Co yeah, Cohitis, um, Kappa Spatial. Yeah, I literally just laid one in the ashtray. I smoke it now. Um, I also got some more of the Broadleaf Cohitis as well. So for these, yeah, the man was similar to some of the Tatawahe brands. Um, Pete Johnson did put out that. 
these are limited and they won't be back for a little while. So of course that created a um, FOMO, fear of missing out. And these are being bought up fairly quickly. So um, as of right now, they have some in stock. If you smoke them already and like them, I will buy more. If your local B&M has them, buy more from your local B&M also, okay? Um, I don't have that luxury where I'm at, so obviously I'm buying online. Um, I have ordered some from my B&M that I um, frequent uh, back in Florida and Georgia already. It's just in the mail right now, so make sure you guys do that, okay? Um, next package, to be no secret, I order from Small Batch all the time. There's their packaging. All right. Um, typically, all right, their stuff will always come with a little travel with Vita. I don't recommend trying to use these in your actual humidor. They die pretty quick under the strain of trying to humidify a giant box, but um, the bigger ones work just fine. So they always come with one of those. Um, this should come as no surprise. I have been smoking these up a lot lately since they have become more available to me um, because I like when a cigar is out, I like availability. I like being able to find that cigar and buy that cigar. And as soon as they hit small batch, I was able to buy a lot more. So I've been buying these up a lot. I got the dark ones in as well. Um, just by past little video thing with those. I packed, I, I threw them in my humidor and um, I forgot to do the video. So, but that's fine because um, when I smoke it, I'll share my thoughts on it um, in some form, for sure. So this is the War Witch. Um, Agonorsa made, so you are getting obviously a quality cigar. Um, and the owner, um, and the owner's a real, um, real cool guy. He's hitting all the trade shows. He's doing podcasts. He's talking to people about his vision. Um, he has great cigar swag also. Um, he really put a lot of effort into making this cigar, um, a very good smoke, so. Another small batch package. The Avo Domain. This is hands down the best non special, non LE Avo they have. You have to try it. Try this is that size. Um, I'm telling you, like, this is a, I'm not going to say a sleeper because Avo brand is good. And I know that people more so favor. Um, the ones before all the crazy labeling came out. So I'm telling you now, this Avo Domain is amazing. They're even better with age, okay? Because I used to smoke Avo a lot. I do revisit Avo time to time, okay? You won't be disappointed in the Avo Domain, okay? You won't be disappointed. If any of you guys have frequented the shop that I was up to back in this at, um, shout out to Dapper D's in Jacksonville, Florida. Um, I was a tobacconist there. I enjoyed it. The customers enjoyed it. Um, very good relationship with the owner. Um, I didn't feel like I was working, and that's really important, right, when I'm not doing military stuff. So um, this cigar, the Ramon Lones by A.J. Fernandez, this was one of my cigars that if I had a customer that really didn't know what he wanted, and I was asking questions, I was explaining cigar plans to him, and then the customer, um, he or she wouldn't bite, and they was looking for a stronger medium to pull. This is the cigar that I recommended. And I'm, I'm not bragging, right? Um, I never got it wrong when I recommended this cigar to anybody in that lounge. This cigar is amazing, uh, flavorful, um, burns well, nice presentation. Um, it's up there as far as its flavor and strength. Um, it has um, medio tempo, if I'm saying it right, um, in it, which is you know like a little small top part of the tobacco leaf. Um, it's not used in a lot of cigars, but I'm telling you now, they use it really good in this one. Okay, so if you can find these in your BNM, you should buy one. If not, don't worry because Small Batch has them. All right, now if you go to Small Batch. You can use my discount code JJBLOG, that's JJBLOG, um, and you'll get a discount. 
I advise you to sign up for any online rewards points program that's with Neptune, Small Batch, whatever. You get points, you can reuse the points to buy some nice stuff for yourself. But they got this cigar, you should definitely try it. Okay. this back in the package. That's what she said, right? <laughs> um, luxury. Um, you know, I, I um, started ordering more from these guys um, last year and into this year. Um, those guys are amazing also. It's funny because like, I remember online retailers when they first came out and when they first started operating, when they started their Cigar of the Month clubs and everything, and yeah, Luxury is doing, um, they're doing good, man, like, and, and they're active in the industry also, which is important. Um, so, yeah, I ordered, um, don't laugh, right, but I ordered more <laughs> of the Tatawahe Kappa Special <laughs> from them. Uh, I just wanted more. Um, I ordered these at different times. By now, I'll be honest, I should have just bought a box. It is what it is. Um, luxury ships out. They always include some sticker swag, right? So you got the hashtag Luxury Cigar Club. Um, the hashtags, if you use this on your post, by the way, like when people go and search, they'll see your post. So you may get some more followers, you may get some likes. I'm not saying go do it and try to be like an influencer, right? Nobody cares about that. But like, you connect with people, and that's the whole point of social media. So this hashtag essentially helps you connect with other people that are buying from Luxury Cigar Club, okay? So they send a sticker. There you go. Put it on your skateboard, you know, fucking stove top paddle, whatever you want to stick it to your cigar case. It works, okay? And then they send you a nice card here. Um, I always appreciate the card. Of course, thank you for your service. Um, <laughs> um, I appreciate it. So, yep. But Vita, of course, industry standard. All right. Now, first time I've seen this packaging, because, I mean, yeah, I order from Cigar Page, but um, it's, I guess I've never noticed they've been doing this, or maybe I was getting old packaging, but look at this. So this is a nice bag, and they got their signature chimp on it, smoking a cigar. Um, same thing, they always send like sticker swag. So um, yeah, nice bag. Um, my only hit on them, and it's, you know, I'm not going to say yay or nay, right? But um, I didn't get a Bavita in this package. Huh. I'm not gonna die or nothing. I just know I'm not gonna smoke these cigars um, for a couple weeks, right? I'm gonna throw them my humidor and just let my Bavitas do their job. Um, but the prices were too good to turn down. Um, so these guys here, they do a singles sale uh, two or three times a year maybe, maybe a little more. Um, and it's a really good deal. I'm talking about like 50% off, 60%, 30%, it's a bunch of random stuff without using a code, right? Because you don't see many codes on Cigar Page. Uh, shipping is already free. So, um, I'll take the time to stock up on some singles, some stuff I want to revisit or, um, you know, it depends, but yeah, let's go over what I got because, um, and this will be quick because I did get a lot of them, so. I'll just pop on the screen right quick. Uh, say their names so you can look them up. Um, the My Father's Laduna, Ladena. Uh, like these little buggers here. So they're cheap. It was like three, four bucks with a little discount they had going. So something like that. Um, I don't smoke a lot of Lost and Found, but I did get the um, pepper cream soda. I thoroughly enjoyed it every time I smoked it. This one and the San Andreas one, so I decided to grab another one. Just to, just to have, just in case I do decide I want to revisit it. Um, this is a favorite of mine. The My Father's Lay Lebehu, Lebeju. 
the orange label one. Anyway, um, this cigar here is really good, so I do try to keep a couple on hand. Um, no secret, I grabbed some Fuentes, of course, with the sale because it's just what I do. Um, pretty cool, right? So I grabbed um, three King Tees, one, um, two Connecticut's, and one um, um, Rosado. So I got some more King Tees. Um, Casa Cuba, of course, because as you know, this is one of my favorite Fuentes. A CAO Mortal Coil. Now, these were like disappearing at a lot of places, so they did have some of these. So I just grabbed one. Um, unique taste to it. I read up on the blend at one point. I need to read up on it again. Obviously, I can't explain it right now, but. Um, it was something done with this cigar as part of their process that gave it a unique flavor. You know? So I grabbed another one of those. <sighs> grabbed a couple Monte Cristos only because I like exploring um, the legacy brands because, as you know, that's who was here first, right? So before boutiques, you know, before these small batch brands or smaller manufacturers or you know whatever they're classified as um, small companies legacy brands you know they existed and they a lot of those people that work for these companies um, they paved the way for the industry so I just never forget about my legacy brands okay um, I love the small back to craft cigars boutique cigars I'm gonna call them um, but you can't forget the legacy brands. Um, so I did grab a couple Monte Cristos to try out. And, you know, I said it was at a very good price. So, Lugion, of course, because as you know, I love the Lugion cigars. So I grabbed a couple of these. I do like these. Uh, the Flume de Amores. Uh, really good, really good value. I should have a box of these. To be honest, so I'm gonna get a box here soon because I would smoke the cigar a lot if I had more. Uh, Tatawahe. Okay, I like this cigar. This is no, uh, this one isn't as strong as some of the other ones, which is fine, right? Change of pace for me or a early day cigar. Um, this would be just fine. Um, the time that you smoke a cigar does matter. I don't enjoy mild cigars later in the day. But I do enjoy them in the morning time. So um, if you haven't tried that, try it out. Um, I think you'll get the same experience. Um, perfect examples, like I hear people talk about like the Davidoffs and like some of the higher end Connecticut's. Um, and yes, you know, I will hope you will enjoy that stick no matter if you smoke it night or day, but sometimes that matters. And um, after I've eaten all day and all this other stuff, some Connecticut's won't make the cut as far as my palate, um, and I know that. So I like to have it in the morning with coffee. So typically the first thing I have in the morning, if I have it, or early in the day. Um, and then throughout the day, you know, it'll be a, you know, more stronger cigar. Um, this is what it is. That's what works for me. Try it out. Um, let me know what you think at some point. So that is it. That's everything that I got in. Um, yeah, check out my page on Facebook. It is called Exceptional Cigar Deals. It is private. Um, I have to add you. That's fine. Um, yeah, this is me that run the page if you didn't know. So, um, check it out. All these deals that I took advantage of are posted there. So that way you don't miss out. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Drop some comments. I don't really ask like a lot of questions, but I'll drop some comments. I'll answer them. Stuff you want to see, drop in the comments. I don't mind. Um, I'm gonna attempt to um, do these better. I'm gonna get a mic soon. So um, yeah, try to bring some people on. Maybe talk to them about cigars and stuff. We'll see. So there you go. National champions, Georgia Bulldogs. Have a good day.